Hey, how are you doing today? Thanks for joining me. In this video, we are going to take a look at the sequence of operation for a basic fired forced air furnace. We're going to follow along with our schematic over here so that we can start to run through the sequence of operation. Now, a couple of points to show you before we get rolling here. Uh, my disconnect I've got shown in the closed position, which would normally be shown on a schematic in the open position. But we can see uh, I have power through my high limit to the 120 volt primary side of my transformer, which I have 24 volts on the secondary of my transformer, which feeds my control circuit. Okay, I also have my flame proving circuit down here where the pilot light would already be sitting there. We have a standing pilot that's already lit uh, and it's proving that there is a flame there. So there's no problems when the gas valve opens. Uh, I also have the thermostat shown in the closed position. Because this is a closed loop system, we are going to start off with the room cooling. Okay, so naturally in the room, it would start to cool off. And the first thing that we would see happening after room cooling is the thermostat contacts would close. Okay, so as soon as those thermostat contacts close, we are going to see 24 volts across our main gas valve. And what that means is our gas valve energizes. Okay, another way of looking at it is our gas valve now opens. Okay, because that gas valve opens, it's going to allow gas through to the burner area, which is located right by our standing pilot. As soon as that gas comes into contact, obviously, with the standing pilot, it's going to ignite. So the next step, our burners ignite. Okay, so. Our burners are lit. We now have flame in our heat exchanger area. And what's going to start to happen inside that heat exchanger area? The heat exchangers are going to warm up. Our plenum is going to warm up. That would be our next step right here. Our plenum warms. Okay. As the plenum warms, it starts to reach what we call our fan on temperature on our fan control. Okay. Fan on. That temperature is usually somewhere from 49 to 60 degrees Celsius. Okay, once that temperature is reached, these contacts will close and I will now have an energized fan. That'll be the next thing, fan energized. Okay, so my fan is on. What it's doing is starting to pull air through our system from our cold air returns. It's passing it through the furnace itself by those hot heat exchangers. And we are going to see the heat energy from those heat exchangers transfer out into the air that's to be warmed. And from there, because of the indoor fan motor, it's pushed out through the ductwork, out through the vents, and out into the area to be warmed, or our house, or our room, whatever we want to call it. In this case, we're looking at our room. So, fan is energized, our room starts to get warm. And as it warms up towards the central location where we have our thermostat located, naturally what's going to happen on a temperature rise, this normally closed switch will open. Once it opens, it immediately de-energizes our gas valve. Okay, the main gas valve de-energizes, which means that gas valve closes which stops the gas through to the burner area. So we've removed our flame completely now. No more flame. Burner's off. Okay, our fan is still running. And that fan is going to continue to run until that plenum starts to cool. That plenum is going to cool until we reach a preset temperature on our fan control. Our fan off will be somewhere usually around 32 to 38 degrees Celsius. Now my fan is off, my burners are off, my standing pilot is still lit, but my furnace is in what we call a dormant state now. And again, because this is a closed loop system, what starts to happen in the room or space to be warmed is it starts to cool off naturally and we end up coming back up to step one where our room starts to cool and you would see the cycle just repeat over and over again. Hopefully this has helped. Uh, again, Understanding sequence of operation is a very important aspect of troubleshooting any type of electrical circuit, really. Join me in the next video. We'll take a look at the sequence of operation in a efficient, 
style furnace, so a mid-efficient or a high-efficient, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.